Andrew, why are we watching this? Because you agreed we would. Yeah, I didn't know it was going to be stupid. It's not stupid. It is stupid. It doesn't make any sense. You're not watching the movie. I am watching the movie, and now, he, now he's on Mars. Like, what? This movie's stupid. How dare you say this movie's stupid? This movie is revolutionary. You know what be revolutionary? Color. Color be revolutionary. Why don't you color movie? Because that's not the point. The point is to get the story, get the get the nice cinematography, get the get the things around it, not just color. Get the story. The dude floated to Mars. Hey guys. What the f film is important. You really should pay attention to film, Sean. All important aspects of our culture have been influenced by popular culture and media such as film. You're absolutely right, Andrew. Thank you. To the Moon, 1910, has influenced directors for generations and even extends into today. To the Moon, 1910, has influenced directors for generations. The cinematography of the picture describes a great understanding of how to use different forms of media. Andrew, this is a closet. Influenced by various items such as. The use of various cinematography techniques that were pioneered within To the Moon 1910 have so been absolutely. Gonna... Things change, Sean. Have the lambs stopped screaming yet? What? Cinematography has really been influenced by a lot of older movies, but Steven Spielberg even said that cinematography. What is cinematography? Cinematography is the actual art style behind motion pictures. Now, when you think of a still photograph, you think of photography. Now, in motion picture, it's called cinematography. This is the artistic merit and imagination that comes into movies that we have come to know and love so well. If I said, imagine somebody eating breakfast. Now, in your mind, you may have a specific image of what that looks like. Well, this is what cinematographers do. They read a script or a screenplay and they take that mental image and reproduce it into actual film. Do you see now, Sean? No. Of course not. Well... You ever seen the Titanic? movie was Potemkin. It was a movie about the Russian Revolution and it had the very first cutaways of film. A cutaway is when an actor is looking at something and the camera cuts towards to what that object is. Now in Potemkin it was a small child waving and it cut to a flag flowing. Charlie Chaplin was very influential in the comedy scene of movies, the silent film, and he was one of the very first actors that started off this whole comedy revolution that he brought on with, you know, jokes like pies to the face and knocking people over and stuff like that. Gotta figure it out? Michael Bay. I hate you, Sean. No, but seriously. Michael Bay thing is a whole joke. Basically, he represents something that's that's an issue in today's society when it comes to movies. People don't care about story or anything anymore. They care about explosions and, and guns, and if the car doesn't go faster than 100 miles an hour, it's not really a movie, am I right? Remember, never forget the three B's. You got booms, Bugattis, and b
Girls, take this video for example. Would it be better if I just sat here and talked about things you probably don't care about? Or would it be better if I had a hot body, was shirtless, on a beach, with a babe, and this exploded? That's what I thought. The real question is why does it affect contemporary culture?